Question says a metal sphere of radius 5 centimeters is initially uncharged. How many electrons would have to be placed on the sphere to produce an electric field of magnitude 1.35 times 10 to the 5th newtons per coulomb at a point 8.18 centimeters from the center of the sphere? Now, this is a chapter 16 question, but all the principles from it come from chapter 15. So, remember back to chapter 15 that whenever you have a charged sphere, the electrical uh, charge acts as if the total charge of it acts as if it were coming from the very center of the sphere. So, that's important when we're trying to, to calculate the distance from the charge to where to where we want to have our electrical potential. And so we we know that the electrical potential is and we know that the formula for electrical potential is coulomb's constant times the charge over the radius squared. Now in this equation it gives us the radius of the sphere. The radius of the sphere makes no difference. It wouldn't matter if this was 0.2 if uh if this was 2 centimeters, 1 centimeter, 5, 6, 7 centimeters, it don't matter because all of the charge of a sphere acts as if it's coming from the very center. So all that really matters is the distance to the point from the center. So from here to here. So r squared in our equation, r squared, or r is going to be equal to 0 0.0818 meters. But we want to figure out what the charge, what, what charge do we need? Because electrons, a certain number of electrons is what we want to get to, but electrons give us the charge. So we'll solve for the charge, and it's going to be E times r squared divided by Coulomb's constant is equal to the charge. Now, from that we need to know the number of electrons per coulomb, or the electrons per charge. And the number for that is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th electrons per, or char coulombs per electron. So whatever answer we get for Q, we'll take Q and divide it by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th to get the number of electrons. Now the problem gives us basically everything else we need, so the electric field magnitude 1.35 times 10 to the fifth, I'm going to multiply that by 0 0.018 squared, and then we're going to divide it by 8.99 times 10 to the ninth. And you should get that Q is equal to 1.004 times 10 to the negative seventh, and then when you divide that by 1.6 times 10 to the ninth, negative 19th, you should get that the number of electrons is equal to 6.28 times 10 to the positive 11th.